Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use standardized source citation ratings in Family Tree Maker for Mac 2. Now, there are actually two ways that you can get to the source citation quality ratings. The first one is on the People workspace, and the other is on the Sources workspace. We'll, we're going to do this on the people workspace and then after it's done I'll go show you where you could do it on the source workspace as well. I just find it more convenient to do here because it it uh, makes it clear for me which fact I'm working on and which person. So you'll want to click your on people up here to get your your uh, people workspace and then uh, select the person from the family pedigree view or um, up here and uh, switch over to the person tab and then you want to select the fact that you're interested in the citation for. In this case, it's this birth fact right here. And then over here, we've got the citation itself. So I'm going to select that. And you can see it's got no stars for the ratings right now. And right above it, there's this little star. And if you click on that, you get the quality rating. Now, right off the bat here, we can, we can set a quality score of anything from not rated to one to four stars just by clicking on one of these guys. That's not the way that I recommend you do it. The way I recommend you do it is to check this box over here that reads Use Standardized Ratings. And once I do that, you'll see that we get some more radio buttons here that we can choose from. And these are the standard ratings for source information and evidence, and it's also got this clarity one. And so for this particular one, it's a, it's a digital image of an actual original death record, death certificate. So I'm going to check Original, and you'll see that that gets it one gold star. And then for clarity, this, uh, for this fact, the birth information on that record was actually marginal. So I'm going to select that. And then as far as the information that was in there, it was the informant was the deceased's husband. So it was secondary information. And then the evidence, the birth information was direct evidence of this birth fact. And then you can put in your justification down here. So I'm just going to click OK. And then let me show you real quick. We've got the two stars over here. That's what the rating was. And if we go back in there, you'll see that it's there. I want to mention here that the number of stars will be, per will be saved if you do a GEDCOM export, but the actual quality ratings will not be. So you may want to put them in notes uh, for the actual citation. So the other place you could get to that information is if you go over to Sources and you select the source group that you're interested in, and then the actual source citation, and then finally the link. We were working with this birth one. And so you can see it's got the rating there that we just did. But if, had it not had the rating or if I wanted to change it, I would just select it here and then click the star, and I would have all of those same settings. 